Larry McDonald is the founder of the Bear Traps Report. And Larry, look, I don't, I don't want to spark additional concern more than is necessary over this. This may be a case where a lot of people are selling now, asking questions later. But I, I think what's probably happening here is people are looking at these hold to maturity situations where you have assets, particularly in bonds, you say you're not going to mark them down. You don't have to under accounting rules, but even though bond prices have come under such pressure this year. If you're going to hold them to maturity, it's not a problem. If, you're, if your borrowers force you to cash in on those things earlier because they want their money back, it does become a problem. It's a problem for a small bank like SVB. Is it an issue for some of these bigger banks, too? Well, you're doing a great job um, kind of giving important color on the situation. I've been listening this morning. So the, the larger banking systems, so think of the XLF, those banks have about 15.5 trillion of assets in the XLF, whereas the KRE is about 5.5 trillion. So the, the regional banks are smaller, but picture in your mind the credit risk management team and the interest rate risk management team at, say, J.P. Morgan or one of these big banks in New York. This is like you know the team that's flying the F-16, right? Whereas if you think about the interest rate uh, risk teams at the regional banks across the country, you might think of an overweight man or woman uh, coming out of a, a Dunkin' Donuts. You're talking about a team of people across the regional bank system in the United States that haven't had to deal with interest rate risk for literally their entire careers, okay? You're talking about interest rate risk and credit risk, especially interest rate risk, that hasn't existed. So they really don't have the risk management hedging practices that the big banks do. And as you, as you nailed it, uh, if there's a, a demand for, and remember, the U.S. Treasury, okay, is pouring money out of these banks, okay? The, the, if you can get a 5% uh, T-bill, why, and, 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 and the deposit rates in these banks are much lower, that's pouring money out of the banks as well. So it's, it's oh, that's a an excellent. That's an excellent point, Larry. I hadn't really thought of that aspect of it. You can get a much better deal. Why go to a CD? Why to go to a savings account here when you can get a much better deal from the U.S. Treasury? Yes, and so in in essence, the Fed is causing this bank run. And in essence, what I've heard from so we run an institutional platform. Our business is institutional facing. We run a conversation across the Bloomberg network. But the, the, here's what the professionals are saying globally that this is actually a macro prudential risk issue with the Fed, where the Fed's been tightening, tightening monetary policy, but financial conditions really haven't been tightening. And so they're very annoyed with this. And I think the New York Fed has gone around to the regional banks and said, listen, your mark to market issues are a problem and you have to play ball and mark these assets to market. And that's creating this tightening of financial conditions that the Fed wants, because that's ultimately what's going to get inflation down. Okay, so that gets to the aspect of is this contagion is this contagious? And I, I guess what I'm hearing from you is potentially to the regional banks, but don't worry about the big banks so much. Yes, it's exactly. This is like the SNL crisis in the '80s. The Fed needs to get inflation down, so they're in essence they're playing with Frankenstein, right? Uh, they don't really know what could happen, but they need to get inflation down, right? And they need to tighten financial conditions, and so they're doing that. And now we, we're having a run on some of these banks, and then you know, it's, it, but it's but it's 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 going up the curve. I mean, Charles Schwab's off ten percent yesterday. In in our careers, you might see that once or twice in a day. So this is definitely a contagion process, and I think the Fed's going to now probably end up cutting cutting rates by a hundred basis points by December. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Okay, back it up. There's a headline for you. You're convinced that because of these problems that look like they could be systemic if they roll on to other things, the Fed is going to have to say, forget about inflation. We're going to be much more worried about the, the financial system holding up. And again, focused on the regional banks, some of the smaller banks that are out there. But that's enough for them to, to change their mind about everything Jay Powell just told us in two days of testimony before Congress, where he said we are going after inflation and that is going to be what we do? Well, you just nailed it. So there's an inflation fire. They're pulling out the fire hose with financial conditions trying to put that out, right? And so that's the fire they're dealing with now. The problem is when you do that, our 21 Lehman systemic risk indicators are at the highest level since Lehman and COVID right now. They're exploding higher. So now within the next couple of months, 
as the contagion brews up this up this channel up to high yield leverage loans across the entire ecosystem the that's when the fed's going to have to bring out the other fire hose and cut mm -hmm. rates probably within six to nine months